securities as opposed to just giving the insurance company. Like that. Taking on a, taking on a some little risk yourself, but you are already. And yeah, and I wouldn't. And I'm, quite frankly, that sounds like too much life insurance to me because you've already got a million dollars of term. So I keep that million dollars in term in place. That probably buy. You know, are you going to receive social security yourself or just your spouse? Uh, we both will get okay. Social Security. I guess, but I also look at what the cost of that term is versus what it's going to be in the universal life. It means 70. It, 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 it's it's going to, how much are you paying for the term insurance? You know, it's kind of like I can argue about this all day long. You got to, I mean, you're sitting down and you, <laughs> if you were sitting down in my, an office with my number one of our advisors, my guess is you'd end up with the recommendation would be a low cost, variable, universal life. With probably, my guess is anywhere between one and one point five million dollars of face value on it. I wouldn't be chunking it over as fast as, as they recommended at fifty nine and a half, just because of how it's going to drive you into a higher marginal tax rate, right? Because when the money comes out of the IRA, you have to pay taxes on it, and then it goes yeah. into the life insurance policy. You can't put that life insurance policy in the IRA. Right. No, I understand. So I you yeah, we got pay about twenty five hundred a year now for the for the term. See that's dirt cheap. That's yeah. dirt cheap. Particularly when you're 68, 69, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't don't cancel that term. Did they recommend canceling the term policy? No, no, no. They did not recommend that. It's not like you're doing all the right things. I think we're kind of. My, my guess is you talk to ten different advisors, you're going to get ten slightly different. But he's talking to us. <laughs> This is what I'm doing. I've had this. I've worked with this advisor. This is what they helped me out with. You would probably say, "Here's, here's kind of how I would do it," but you're probably just fine going to this program you're on. Would you not? Mm, I wouldn't buy the universal index life insurance. Okay. I would. I would. I would absolutely go to the variable life insurance policy. Um, but everything else, I'd say, yeah, you're probably right. It just sounds like way too much life insurance. They're going to check out this whole 1.4 million dollars. Why? Come on, Scott. I think they just looked at that thing and they got, he's got $1.4 million of investments. We should get it all over there. I'm saying don't uh, use all fair, of it. Fair, 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 fair. Don't use all of it. Yeah. All right. Well, See, because uh, you might not need it this whole life. His wife might, might predecease him. Then he no longer has a need for it. Yeah, and he's got term until he's 70. But yeah. we have beat that life insurance more still. It is dead, <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are running out of time in our program. Uh, uh, one last guess, though. We've got this coming Wednesday, April 19th, Pat and myself are going to be in the studio just taking phone calls. So this program, we tend to sometimes we take record calls earlier and whatnot, but we're going to have just this time in the studio between 1 and 2.30 p.m. Pacific time to take your calls. And if you want to join us, uh, you can um, sign up at moneymatters.com. Um, questions at moneymatters.com. Just send anything to an email. Questions at moneymatters.com. Or you can call on that day at 833-99-WORTH. Um, it's been great being here with you all. We appreciate you being with us all. Uh, by, if you, by the way, if you haven't given us a review in a while, please do so. And if this has been helpful, you pass on to one of your friends. This program has been brought to you by All Worth Planning, a registered investment advisor. Any ideas presented during this program are not intended to provide specific financial advice. You should consult your own financial advisor, tax consultant, or estate planning attorney to conduct your own due diligence. KFBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. KFBK
and maker of the abortion pill asking to keep a Texas court from imposing a ban and an appeals court decision that would limit access from taking effect. ABC News Supreme Court contributor Kate Shaw says it's the latest challenge over reproductive rights since last year's Supreme Court decision that ended Roe v. Wade. The manufacturer says at issue here is federal judges second guessing the scientific judgment of the experts at the FDA. And if that were allowed to stand, it would sow chaos again after this drug, but also more broadly. The Pentagon still investigating the fallout from the leaked classified documents online, allegedly through a social media chat room. Air National Guardsman Matt Teixeira charged yesterday in Boston Federal Court. ABC's Brina Rory has more on the investigation. Right now, the big question is why? Was it ego? Was it something more sinister? Well, so far, investigators have not been able to answer that as concerns around security also grow. In Central Texas today, a remembrance ceremony nearly a decade after a deadly fertilizer plant explosion in the small town of West. Officials read the names of 16 people, including 12 first responders. First Baptist Church pastor John Crowder says he sees a community rebuilding. I can finally see what I only hoped for on that day. I see our new homes, our new schools, our new infrastructure, our new nursing home. The explosion was heard 45 miles away. You're listening to ABC News. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into. And that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month. And that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want a plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. Very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 877-26-BIBLE. That's 877-26-BIBLE. 877-26-BIBLE. Reports of strike at New Jersey State University system has ended. Governor Phil Murphy's office had hosted talks between Rutgers and representatives for three faculty unions representing more than 9,000 striking workers. And it was the governor's Twitter account that announced a deal had been reached after five days. In an email to the university, Rutgers President Jonathan Holloway said the framework of the agreement is a salary increase for full-time faculty, higher pay rates, and better job security for part-time lecturers. His graduate students will also see their salaries increase. Working conditions for part-timers and graduate students were key factors in the first strike in Rutgers history. Brian Clark, ABC News. Another day of summer-like heat in the Midwest and parts of the Northeast. That after record breaking temperatures this week on the East Coast. In Japan, a 24-year-old under arrest accused of throwing an explosive device at a campaign event today for Japan's prime minister. No one was injured. ABC's Rick Clinton has more. From that big video captured the moment of the loud explosion. It caused commotion at the scene with people there screaming and running away. Casino was swiftly evacuated from the scene and he was unharmed. The incident causing concern following the assassination of former prime minister Shinzo Abe last year. He was killed in broad daylight with a homemade gun by a disgruntled citizen. This is ABC News. As a roofer, I'm always on the go. So I need to be able to get things done from anywhere. That's why I partner with Beacon. With the new Beacon Pro Plus app, I've got the brands I depend on, like GAF, right at my fingertips. It's like having my Beacon rep in my pocket 24-7. I rely on Beacon because I never stop building, and neither do they. Now for June, purchase your Beacon Pro Plus and earn up to 1500 bucks. Beacon, always building. I'm Michelle Franzen, ABC News. California's capital city, KFBK News Radio. Update. The Sacramento Kings are making their first NBA playoff appearance since 2006, and fans are getting excited. The city is always, always alive, but it's more alive now.
Thank you. 